response to the large number of employees killed while working inside confined space, safety regulatory agencies have placed significant emphasis on good confined space assessment to help prevent deaths. The standards can get a bit confusing, so be sure to read them carefully. Above all, do not take the assessment process lightly. This may be all that stands between safe work and confined spaces. Assessments are sometimes done in a haphazard manner, leaving employees at risk. A properly performed assessment is a critical part of your confined space program. Prior to entry into a confined space, a pre-entry assessment is necessary and completing the entry permit as well. If your organization has not conducted an assessment, now is a good time to start the process. Under the confined space regulations, companies are required to carry out risk assessments to identify potential hazards and obstructions. The assessment will indicate the level of risk the hazard may pose and help determine what steps are required to manage these risks. On the surface, this can seem like a daunting task, but if done in a methodic manner, it can be easily and efficiently accomplished in a short period of time. Your facility may only have a few confined spaces. In organizations such as public agencies or other large facilities, there may be more spaces. In some cases, such as sewers and storm drain systems, it may be possible to assess a representative number of spaces if they are all essentially the same. A confined space is defined as a space that meets all three of the following criteria. The definition includes The space is large enough to enter and perform assigned work. Generally, this means that an employee must be able to physically enter the entire space. Has limited means of entry and exit. This condition generally applies to situations in which an employee must bend or stoop to enter a space, making potential rescue difficult. Also, spaces that may require a ladder to gain access may satisfy this condition as well. Agencies have stated that ladders, temporary, movable, spiral, or articulated stairs will usually be considered a limited or restricted means of access or egress. Fixed industrial stairs that meet safety standards are generally considered a limited or restricted means of egress when the conditions or physical characteristics of the space would interfere with the entrance ability to exit or be rescued in a hazardous situation. If you can stand upright when entering a space such as walking through a doorway and walk unobstructed, this condition would not be met. This also applies if walking down a set of stairs to enter the space. It's not designed for continuous employee occupancy. The question is, what does that mean? Is the space designed so an employee can enter and safely work for a prolonged period of time? If the space is something like an automotive service pit or pipe gallery, it generally does not apply. On the other hand, reactors, sewer manholes, subsurface vaults, silos, and similar structures are not designed for continuous occupancy and therefore would be considered a confined space. Once all the spaces have been identified, the next step is to assess the spaces to determine which may pose a hazard to 